You know what's better than a Ryobi P320 18 gauge brad nailer? Ryobi P325 16 gauge brad nailer. And we're going to talk about these and more today on Doubt It Yourself. Hey, so today we're going to talk about the nailers and staplers from Ryobi. And you may be familiar with the P317 stapler, the P318 pin nailer, and the P320 18 gauge brad nailer. Also, Ryobi has the P330 15 gauge angled finish nailer and the P360 18 gauge narrow crown stapler. But today, we're going to talk about the Ryobi P325 16 gauge finish nailer. Let's open this box up. This is a tool only, so in the box obviously you have the nailer, some sample nails, the instructions, and a tool belt clip with the mounting screw. So I use my 18 gauge brad nailer all the time. Door casings, base moldings, and everything. But now, this bad boy is going to be used for exterior trim, light siding, and other projects where I need a little bit more holding strength. So what is gauge? Gauge is the system they use for measuring the size of nails. So these are 23 gauge, these are 18 gauge, and these are the 16 gauge. And as you can see, they're very similar, but when you start looking at them from the side, this is significantly larger than this one. So when you start talking about nails, you may be familiar with your eight penny, your six penny, or your four penny finish nails. These are headed, these are usually pins or brads. So the system we use for measuring nails by gauge is also coincidentally the way they measure needles. So hopefully the next time you're getting an injection, you're getting a little 23 gauge and not the big honking 16 gauge. So let's talk about some of the functions. So here on the P325, you load the nails by pulling this loading mechanism and it's spring clip like this. There's a release button right there, all the way to the aft position where it locks. And then slide the nails in head down. And you can see that there's a square here for the head. So it goes in right like that. You drop those down. And you can load two bandoliers in here, or if you have the longer ones, just one. Press the button, and it seats against that. Uh, you adjust the depth or the of the nail by here, and if you get a jam, you can release the latch here and open it up, clear the jam. This has a um, pressure sensitive safety measure in it. So you can see the lights on, so when the light comes on, that means it's ready to fire. And then it also has a switch here, right here, where you can select one shot with um, pressure or you can go to what they call bump okay so if you set it to the th there's three nails here or one nail here so this is press shoot and this is as you press it it will shoot so let me demonstrate that really quick so there's on the one setting press shoot <coughs> Ooh. and then switch it to three and press I, was only, I just hold the trigger and bump it, and down it goes. So the P320 18 gauge nailer is very similar to the 16 gauge. Uh, loads a little differently. You just thumbprint here, open, slide your bandolier in, and seat to close. Again, you have a latch on the front if you need to clear a jam and a knob to adjust the depth 
And then there's also a knob on the back here to adjust the strength. So this also has the pressure sensitive tip and that when you press it down, the light comes on and then you can shoot. This does not have the bump option. So the P318 is very similar to the P320 in the way it's loading. You just squeeze the thumb button on the back, pull it back, and then you put the pin nails in. Pin nails are headless, so they put arrows on them so you know which end is the driving end or the chiseled end. And then in they go, and you put them in, and you launch it. This one, you have to release it with screws if you have to clear a jam, and it is not touch sensitive for loading. There's a small trigger on the back of this trigger or a safety switch on the back of the trigger that you have to depress before you can shoot. So for example, if I do that, nothing happens. But if I do that, I can shoot. Now, be careful because if this is depressed, this will shoot even if it's not in something. Okay? You can put someone's eye out. So the P317 stapler loads similar to most staplers, but most people tend to want to pull this out and put the staples on the back here. And they'll fit, but if you load them in, nothing's going to happen. You're not, it's not going to, it's going to shoot, but nothing's going to come out. In reality, you actually have to load them on the bottom like this. Drive the cartridge home and then shoot the staple in. So like I said earlier, these are mostly used for moldings and trim. And as you can see, each gauge has its different strengths and its different methods of attaching. As you can see, each nailer leaves a significantly different hole. The 16 gauge leaves a relatively large hole, 18 gauge a little bit smaller, the 23 gauge is almost invisible, and then the staple. Uh, for something like this, the 16 gauge I would use to fasten outside trim boards or maybe a piece of plywood to uh, a substrate or a siding or even to like subfloor. Uh, 18 gauge I'd use for a piece of trim like this or a door casing. 23 gauge I'd use for small fancy moldings like this. And then a staple I wouldn't use for any type of molding but I would use maybe for upholstery or on uh, roof felt or even house wrap. One of the awesome things about pin nails and brad nails is they can be used as a great clamping force when using glue and putting a project together and you can keep moving ahead with that project. So all the products I discussed today are available from the Home Depot. I'll have links below in the video description if you're interested in researching these for yourself or picking one up for your collection. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, put those down below. Speaking of comments, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you do, hit the bell for notifications. I've got some videos over here you may be interested in. Subscribe button's right over here. Thanks for watching. Dad it yourself.